What's up guys? It's your girl Kimono Butterfly here. Happy Friday to you and it is comic book Friday and I actually hit the comic book store today. Um, I haven't been there for the last couple weeks so I had to make up for uh, my time missing there. <laughs> um, so I got a stack of comics to show you as well as some pretty cool gaming stuff so I'm just going to get right into the comics. Um, they gave me this cool bag too. It's got um, the new 52 DC guys on there. It's Wonder Woman, Cyborg, B-Man, Superman, all those cool guys. And it looks like there's going to be um, a new kind of gamer series on TBS. It says it's starting in January. Um, yeah, it says Game On, King of the Nerds. Whatever. Whatever. It's a gaming competition. We're cool. We're not nerds. Gamers are awesome. Okay, let's get right into these here. I picked up some Ghostbuster comics. I did not know they made these. I got a couple of these. Um, yeah, the artwork style is pretty similar to the cartoon. I don't know if anybody remembers the cartoons that were on TV. Kind of like a fun little cartoony guy. So that's going to be pretty cool to read that. I like to add Ghostbusters, especially the game. I don't really care much for Sanctum of Slime, which is like the second one, but the first one for PS3, and they have it for Wii as well, is pretty fun. Uh, yeah. But the second one, I don't know, it just, it, it, I don't like it. <laughs> Alright, I also picked up some more Arkham Unhinged comics. Um, I picked up this one's issue 16, and it's got Hugo Strange on the cover here. And yeah, they kind of are going to inter be introducing some new characters into this um, series that they're doing. So there's kind of some new scenarios going on and some new characters that they've introduced. So that's going to be a pretty interesting read. I've been loving this series so far. So if you like Arkham City and Batman in general, you definitely going to have to check these out. And I also got this one. This one's issue 14, and it's got Batman with um, some of the guards that Talia and Rachel Ghoul, uh, their special uh, ninja assassin guards, look like they're attacking Batman. And Talia is on the cover too, so... She's definitely in this. Oh, there's some stuff going on here. <laughs> so yeah, that looks like a little interesting read. What's going on? All right. I also picked up some Batgirl comics. Um, I really like the artwork in this one. This one's issue 11, and it's called Nightfall Ascends. And I really like the detail in uh, the cover art. That's my favorite part of it. The comics is the cover art. It's always so cool. Let me um, show you guys. Things from the inside, like I always do. Just got my stuff going on, chaos as usual. Alright, I've got another Batgirl one. This one's called Death from Above, and there's some winged girl there that Batgirl is fighting. And oh, yeah, it's kind of it's a continuation of that one there. That person looks like China from the wrestling WWE, what she used to look like anyway, what <laughs> she looks like now. So yeah, Death from Above, cool. And I also got this Batgirl one, um, it's got Batwoman in it as well, and they look like they're fighting. Um, I didn't know that Batgirl and Batwoman were two different people, I thought that um, she was maybe the more mature version of Batgirl, um, but yeah, it looks pretty cool. Her suit's kind of like, looks like a mix between like Batman from Batman Begins, or Batman Beyond, sorry, the cartoon, and like Red Robin kind of looks like that. But uh, yeah, they don't look like they're getting along very well. Girls don't like competition. We just don't. We're crazy. <laughs> See if I can find uh, another image of her bat suit here. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of action going on in here. There we go. So you can kind of see that pretty serious looking outfit she's got there. Oh my god. <laughs> very serious like Batman. So I'm super excited to read those. I also grabbed this. This is um, one of their kind of bagged comic books that they have. There's six of them in here, and it was for five bucks. And I grabbed this one because of the front one. Um, this is Stephen King's The Stand, and I didn't know this was a comic either. And uh, if you guys remember, um, there used to be a TV, there was a TV movie on, and I don't know how many parts it had. It was a few parts because um, the book's really long as well. And it's kind of like a post-apocalyptic or like kind of during mid-apocalyptic, I guess. Um, story and there's a lot of biblical undertones in this so it's really good it's a really good read so I'm excited to kind of read the graphic novel style here and let's have a look at some of the stuff here the art, it's very similar it looks similar to the Walking Dead kind of style so if you guys are um, like that graphic novel 
It's a very similar type of thing. So yeah, pretty good book. You guys should check that out. What else do I have in here? This one, I've never seen this one before. This is Gods and Monsters. I don't know what that is. Oh, look what's on the back. Arkham Asylum. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, here we go. Ah, uh, there's some Halloween comics in here. Wow, this is the first death of Laurie Strode. Whoa. Creepy. Look at that. There's Michael Myers on the cover looking all creepy as usual. Those movies are crazy, especially the new ones that Rob Zombie did. Um, those ones were like nuts. <laughs> like, they're really good. I hope he makes some more like what he did. was pretty cool. And there's some uh, the artwork as well inside. Mm, Try to keep them as straight. I have like little jackets for all of them. As I, I think I've showed you guys before in another video. Here's another one. Uh, ugh, I wish you. Ha I wish I had you all alone. <laughs> that does not sound romantic. That's really creepy. He's like stalking her. This looks very similar to um, the movie that Rob Zombie did. Actually, one of the scenes where he's like following her after school. Like, creeper. Oh, there's another Batgirl comic in here. Oh, cool. And we've got Man Bat on the cover. That's cool. Check that out. I didn't know that would be in there. Sweet deal. I'm gonna have to check this one out. Uh, this is from like 2010, so that's an older one. Cool. And there's one more in here. This one is Frankencastle. Uh, the Birth of the Monster. Um, this is a pun Punisher kind of character, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. Pretty sure he's from the Punisher series. I'm gonna check this out. Hang on, hang on. Uh, am I right? Am I wrong? Whoa, there's some... There's some golem looking guys in here. Okay, I think it's from Punisher, because it sounds kind of familiar. Uh, oh, Punisher, whoa. I'm not going to show you that picture because it's kind of like a spoilerish picture. Yeah, I was right. Punisher, whee! <laughs> oh, the Punisher. So that was my stack of comics that I picked up. Oh, no, wait. Wait, there's no more. There's no more. I'm out of frame now, sorry. No. Okay. Look what I got. They revamped the uh, Red Sonja comic series. They're doing a whole new series, and it's by Gail Simone. And there was two issues there. I think these are the first two issues that they've come out with. I'll show you. It's not as shiny, I don't think. And the artwork there. I'll show you some of the inside art. Similar, the same kind of style, but I think they've totally changed up the story. So this is kind of going from the beginning of Red Sonja. So pretty awesome. I'm so excited to get into the series. And I'm still collecting all the other ones. There's Queen Sonia series as well, but I'm just trying to get the original series as many as I can to collect. So so exciting. Alright. I also stopped by EB Games today and uh rummaged through their used game section, which I hate doing because I always pick stuff out and I like come home with too many. I got three today. Um I picked up Resident Evil. This is the gold edition. And it's got Chris Redfield and Jill Valentine on the front there. And I think you get to use Jill Valentine in this one, too. Pretty sure. I haven't played this one, but Resident Evil. I got this for, like, 13 bucks, so hopefully it's good. I also picked up Killzone 2 for, like, 4 bucks. I've never played Killzone. I know a lot about it, but I have never played it, so I'm excited to play this one. And I also got Killzone 3 for 13 bucks, which is pretty awesome. Ta-da! So I'm super stoked to play this. Oh, there's like some SOCOM multiplayer access. I don't think I'll get that because I it's used, so. There's a book in there too, cool. All right, and last but certainly not least, um, earlier in the week I was at Chapters, um, the giant bookstore we have in Canada. I don't know if you guys have it in the States, you probably do. I don't know. But um, I didn't even realize that they had a gaming manual section, so I like was there forever trying to like look through all the books. And I picked up the uh, the Tomb Raider uh, manual for the game, which I was so excited about. There's a lot of cool um, things in here, and so that I can show you some stuff. There's some artwork and stuff in here as well. Shows you all the little places on the map and things that um, treasures that you need to find and tombs and stuff like that. So very cool. It's heavy too. This game is so good. I haven't played too much of it. I played a little bit, but I need to get back into it because I really love the Tomb Raider series. It's like one of my favorites. There's Lara on the back as well. 
she gets like so beat up in this game. I felt so bad for her. I was like ooh, cringing um, at the beginning. Uh, yeah, so movies, movies. I picked up um, Evil Dead, which I had seen in theaters, and I don't know why I bought it and watched it again because it was like, oh my god. If you haven't seen the Evil Dead, spoiler alert, I hate eye things. I hate eye things. There's like this part where it's like, I, I think like I can't I can watch just about anything but when it comes to like eyes eye surgery anything near my eyes I can't even put contacts in I wear glasses so no I think there are no um, also I can kind of watch like I'm pretty good with watching things like Saw and Hostel uh, but the way that they did this movie was crazy they didn't really use a lot of CGI um, in this movie for the special effects they did it the classic way um, using kind of like puppeteer type things um, if you're familiar with Hellraiser and um, like Nightmare on Elm Street how they did those movies back in the 80s it's a very similar style someone's opening my door <laughs> that was creepy uh, similar style to that and uh, it, it looks so much more real realistic like I was cringing at a lot of stuff and I had to like turn away but uh, it was definitely a good um, it's not really a remake, it's kind of a revamp of the series, which I love to begin with. So they did a really awesome job, but again, if you are uh, squeamish and you don't have a very strong stomach, definitely don't check it out, but if you like that kind of thing, um, definitely a good movie to pick up on Blu-ray and DVD and all that good stuff. Um, there's not really a whole lot of movies on the theater right now that I want to see. I'm looking forward to the Wolverine movie. Uh, yeah, hopefully that will be coming out soon. I hope it's next month or this month. I don't know. So guys, anyways, I hope that you have an awesome Friday and an, a good weekend as well. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.